You don't have to be good. You are not the figurehead strapped to a vessel named after a fairy tale heroine. Women were bad luck to have on boats anyway, better relegated to the murky depths, doomed in myth to lure sailors to a watery ruin. And maybe even now they fear your depth. The enveloping vertigo of weight pulled by moon. That they'll capsize in your magnitude and be washed up, ragged on an unfamiliar shore. So much squeezing of your capacity moulded and whittled to a more palatable shape. When the curves of your compass are colossal. And though you are also a thousand screams in a box with the lid nailed shut, you bite right into life's ripe fruit even when it's raining. Too much appetite is unbecoming, they will warn, especially for a mouth that won't shut. But your streets are lawless, ravenous and undiluted. You are explosives on a precipice with your fingers dug deep in the soil. And from this altitude you remember, the earth doesn't roll onto her back and play dead. She doesn't disguise her fireworks or her tongues. Instead, she pulls the brightest robes from the box and flings herself across the sky as though it were a theatre offering itself to her sensuality. Maybe we all contain a yawning abyss of chaos But some of us are not afraid to touch the edge.